Democrats in panic mode ahead of the midterms. President Biden's approval rating now at 42 percent in a new poll, just two points shy of his record low. A majority of Americans disapprove of his handling of the economy and inflation, the two top issues to voters. His job on the pandemic also has taken a huge hit and is fueling a new wave of Republican Party voters, frustrated parents. Here now, Jessica Anderson, Heritage Action for America Executive Director, and Denisha Merriweather from the American Federation for Children. Okay, ladies, thanks for being here. Jessica, I'm going to go to you first. So I, I ran for Congress in 2010. And in that cycle, in the generic polling, whether we just ask voters, do you want a Republican or a Democrat? Democrats were plus two in 2010. Right now, Republicans are plus five. Does this spell bloodbath for Democrats in the coming election? Well, I definitely think it's Republicans' majorities in the fall to lose, right? The, the wind is at the conservative sale because of everything you just saw with Biden's decrease in job approval numbers. Look at how he's handled energy, families, jobs, the new inflation numbers we expect tomorrow, the war in Ukraine, Afghanistan. It's issue after issue that the Biden administration is out of touch with Americans. And as such, they're looking to Republicans, they're looking to conservatives to lead us out of the Biden era and into an era that actually puts American families first. Yeah, D Denisha, what I find interesting is you're starting to see a lot of parents who might say, well, I don't agree with Republicans on immigration, on LGBTQ. I don't agree with them on climate, but I love my kids and I hate what Democrats mm. are doing to my kids. And they're starting to come over to the Republican Party just because they want their kids to be able to go to school and take masks off and not be you know, taught things that should be left to parents in the home. Am I right? You're absolutely right. Parents care deeply about their kids and yeah. parents paid attention during the pandemic. Uh, the parties who were mandating and saying that schools should stay closed versus the Republican Party, the conservative party, who was saying that schools should be open. Kids should not be um, at home virtually when we've opened up the rest of the economy. Kids deserve the opportunity to learn. And now we see it playing out. We saw it with the gubernatorial election in Virginia uh, with uh, Glenn Youngkin. Parents came out in favor of mm -hmm. school choice, in favor of being empowered and not listening to the political the politicalness of the system. They wanted what's best for their kids. And parents are gonna stand up during this election cycle also. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of mama bears out there who look out for their kids. Denisha are saying, I don't want any more of this. Can I just tell you a quick story? I have nine kids and I only had three nine. months of the pandemic where I had my kids on online learning, which by the way, my internet was crashing. I'm, mm. you know, it was a disaster, but I'm like, we got to get the kids back to school. And my, my That's little, right. my little first grader kept her mask on in the house. She wouldn't take it off. It became this crutch of this, mm -hmm. this yeah. psychosis that was happening with the kids not seeing each other's faces. And I think parents see that, Denisha, and they're like, I can't can't have that. Um, I want to be in charge again of my, my, my kids' future, not the school system. That's right. And parents deserve the opportunity to be in charge of their child's education. And that's why school choice is so important. If the school districts are going to continue to keep schools closed, if the Democratic Party is going to mandate that kids keep wearing masks um, and not support parents and what parents want, then they should have those dollars to, to send their kids to the school environments that are going to respect their wishes, that are going to respect their values. And that's why school choice is so important. And, and Jessica, uh, to you, uh, what, what do you think the issues are that are going to drive voters? I do think it's parents who are concerned about what's being taught in schools. I do think the inflation issue, gas prices are an issue. But what's going to drive the results of this, uh, of this coming election? Well, parents that uh, everyone has just felt the intenseness of the lockdowns into this indoctrination with critical race theory and now this new epidemic of grooming, right? These same parents that are making decisions for their kids are also feeling the impacts of inflation and gas prices and, and the impact that we are all feeling um, at the pump. And so it's one and the same. I think the most important issue for Republicans in the fall is going to be to reach out talk to parents, talk through exactly how red states and hopefully some blue states will open schools back up and to stop this critical race theory indoctrination in, in our education. Youngkin proved he can win on this, and I'm hoping others will do it too, Sean. I, I'm fascinated to see what happens with the Hispanic vote. Um, you see that changing, and that could change up the whole political map. It's going to be an interesting cycle, ladies. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. All right.